Help you? Yeah, sure. Hey, we're local Christians. Or actually, he's from out of town, but I'm Alan Maracle. I'm Norman. Norman. Oh, okay. So, just a follower of Jesus Christ. Not selling anything at all. Okay. We're, we're basically advancing an initiative petition to abolish all abortion in the state of Oklahoma. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ. I was wondering if there might be like a staff person here or something. I'm the youth and music pastor, so. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Do you mind if I give it just a couple minutes? I can tell you about it real quick. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'd love to give you several of these, and I just want to walk you through it real quick. So, basically, um, uh, we are we're advancing a petition that would put abolition of abortion on the ballot. Okay. Okay. So, like, basically, during any election, this like the people as a state question could vote on shall abortion be classified as homicide in all cases. You know. Yeah. So that would mean that any like any Plan B any trip to an abortion mill, whatever, would be classified as homicide, therefore prosecutable, you know, according to the laws of the state. Of right. And, and, you know, punishable by very, you know, very serious uh, repercussions, right? Because it, like, basically would would make any pre-born human being protected under the laws of the nation and the state and all that. Right. right. So, obviously, that sort of thing is going to appeal mostly to people who love Jesus Christ. And right. Recognize the image of God in the pre-born human being. So, what we're doing today, um, is uh, we're going around to lots of different churches and giving out this information for examination. We want everything to be done in the light of day, you know. Right, saying? nothing quick and... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We want, we've thought about it a long time. We've been working on this a long time, and we're kind of making it known now to the yeah. people of the city through various means. Through There's been, like, a big social media push. We've kind of uh, instigated a little bit of mystery. I don't. Have you ever seen those signs with a little triangle and a little birdie? Around the I metro. don't think so. Okay. Well, a lot of people have seen these uh, these signs we've been putting up around the metro. Oh, okay. We've been putting up a lot more. We've been preaching the gospel in public. We've been marching from. The, we've been lobbying at the Capitol. You know, like talking to legislators, right. legislators, and saying, "You ought to repent of supporting child sacrifice." Um, hey, pro-life politician, will you help us abolish all abortion instead of putting forth a bill that's like uh, that requires you to anesthetize the child before you rip his face off? Yeah, that sort of thing. Like all the pro-life bills that anybody has ever put forward in the history of the nation in the last 43 years, ever since Roe v. Wade, have been, have been anything other than total abolition, right? So SCOTUS, you know, Supreme Court said something, and all the legislators, pro-life and pro-choice, throughout the entire history of the country have been afraid to challenge Roe v. Wade. Right. They've been afraid to stand in the gap and oppose themselves in between the unlawful, tyrannical ruling that goes directly against the Word of God and also goes against the Constitution. They've been afraid to challenge SCOTUS and say, no, we're not going to enforce that. We're not going to make laws that reflect it. We're going to stand between the victims of your oppressive, ridiculous, evil, wicked rule and you. You know what I'm saying? So these victims need strong people with a voice to stand up in between the victims and the oppressor. Right. You know? So here we have the government playing the part of the oppressor again, you know, yeah. and the ones paying the price are the weakest and most helpless among us. So, obviously, anybody who recognizes the humanity of the preborn, the image of God, the place where Jesus began his mission of incarnation and you know, the redemption of humanity, is in the womb. Right. right. So, when we make pro-life bills that abandon um, everybody born like below, uh, like or uh, who's before 20 weeks of development, or who hasn't been anesthetized or right. whatever, we abandon those to destruction. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And basically, all of these pro-life compromising bills, what they that what they say is you have to jump through these hoops, dot, 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 and then you can kill your baby. No sweat. It's totally legal, right. acceptable in the eyes of the government, whereas the role of the government is to establish righteous rule, you know, protect the innocent, mm -hmm. stand up for the fatherless and the widow, all that kind of stuff that we see all throughout the scripture, you know, we're yeah. supposed to love our neighbor as ourselves. So, um, what we're asking from y'all is it would be awesome if you all could review the information in these. The, the language of the of the thing that we're putting forward is inside. Okay. So it's all full. All the full information is in there. Um, any other questions can be directed to us through this website. Okay. There's a contact page also. Like I said, since I'm local and many other of my friends are local, I'd be happy to meet in person with anybody at any time. Sounds good to um, me. Yeah. To, like talk through. Yeah. I can. Uh, I'll definitely get it to our pastor. And yeah. He can take a look at it. Totally. So. Cool. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not asking you to like you know jump on anything. Yeah. yeah we want. Sure. Like I said, we want all the. We want it all to be done in the light of day. Right. So anything I can do to um, uh, help explain anything, um, you know, reassure you about our doctrinal stance. Yeah. Like, I believe that, I mean, 
You guys are a Baptist church, right? Yes. Like, I mean, I'm uh, basically a Baptist. So, like, most, almost all of our doctrines are going to align yeah. you know, very, very, uh, very closely. So, like, we're followers of Jesus Christ. We preach the same gospel. believe in the same Lord. Um, and we we believe that, I mean, through examination of the scriptures, like, I looked at Old Testament Israel, Old Testament Judah. What were they destroyed for? They were destroyed for child sacrifice, sacrificing children to Molech. That was, like, the last straw. You know, if you think about idolatry, I mean, they were, like, they were killing, they were engaging in idolatry even from during the exodus yeah you know they've always been lying adultery i mean all these all these violations of the Ten commandments they'd always been doing that when they patient when they started sacrificing children to molech is basically when it all came crashing down we have no such promises here in america like israel did you know yeah the wrath of god's gonna come if we don't repent so this is a call to repentance and it's a call to like establish justice and righteousness uh, in the in the public arena through the influence of the church, like the church standing up and saying, you will do this, or you will face like the wrath of the churches. Non, non-violent wrath, you know what I'm saying? Right. Non-violent yeah. <laughs> Just to yeah. be clear. We're gonna march with Benji, yeah, so we have all, all these guns, yeah. it was great, I'm just yeah. kidding. We're totally non-violent yeah. people, so just reassure of that. Just so we have explicit non-violent statements. So we issue all violence, we preach the gospel, we use the word of God as our weapon. Um, so, uh, you know, all that to say, so I just to reassure you of our orthodoxy and all that kind of stuff, at the same time, it is really urgent, because, like, babies are dying. Yeah. Um, this is a pro-life, this is the most pro-life state in the Union. Like, all the pro-lifers like to, um, we like to pat ourselves on the back and be like, hey, we're the, we're the safest state for the pre-born in the whole country. 6,000 babies were murdered this past year. Yeah. And that's in standalone surge, uh, like centers only, to say nothing of the Plan B pill that's available at Walgreens and Walmart. You know what I'm saying? So countless thousands are being destroyed throughout the state, and the pro-life legislators and pro-life churches are basically silent. And so this is a time for repentance, a time for weeping, and a time for like turning around and saying, Jesus is merciful, man. We need his mercy now. Let's repent and do right, you yeah. know? Like, so repent with us, you know what I mean? Like, I'm repenting, join me in repentance. So it is an urgent matter, so I just, like I said, I'd love to talk more about it. I mean, I'm from Tennessee. And what I'm looking for, what I really hope for, is, I mean, this is the most pro-life state in all of the United States, right? Mm -hmm. If the churches in this state would rise up and say no more, right? What does it say? We the people demand abolition. I could go back to Tennessee and be like, look what they did in Oklahoma. Let's do it here too. Mm -hmm. And it could spread like wildfire and affect the rest of the nation. That's what we're looking for. That's what I want to see. Yeah. You Just know, widespread, massive, sweeping revival. Obviously, Real. people can say, well, you know, I mean, the Supreme Court will toss it out. We don't answer to the Supreme Court, yeah. you know? The yeah. answer in Christ. What they say, what the opinion of seven lawyers in Washington, D.C. is not the Constitution, much less is it the word of Almighty God. Yeah. They, for one thing, SCOTUS works for us. Secondly, uh, they are responsible for God to enact righteous decrees. Right. Isaiah chapter 10 says, woe to those who enact iniquitous decrees and who, uh, what is it, uh, who fail to enact justice for the fatherless and the widow. Like, woe to them. The wrath of God is going to destroy the individuals on the Supreme Court who fail to enact justice. You know, the liberals and the conservatives both. So we can't hide behind the fact that we vote Republican, we vote for the right candidate, yeah. that we have been conservative. We need to realize that we have been apathetic compared to the fact that we're living in the middle of a Holocaust. You know? I'll leave you with one more thing before we leave. Uh, where, you know, we're all brothers and sisters in Christ, you know, which means we're friends and family, right? And Martin Luther King Jr. said, we will not remember, like, the voices of our enemies, like all the things the pro board said and the pro-choice crowd said and all that. What we'll, ring, what we'll really remember is the silence of our friends. And I know Alan knows what I'm talking about. Uh, that's what we'll remember more than anything. So what we pray is that Rancho Village Baptist Church won't be silent. All right, Can you pass that message on. Yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll get it to my pastor and, uh, and let him take a look at it. And, and, uh, and so, yeah, thank you very much. Thank Absolutely. you, guys. The voice as strong as thunder will be heard across the land, calling to the magistrates to save our neighbor man who wearing robes as black as sin have stained our soil red the voice
as strong as thunder will be felt across the land.